The App Store is going to play, right? Exactly. You can play all the heroes under the sun, really. Yep. Yep. So I mean, hey, would this would this be a good game for a a clockwork? Could you bring back the Yap Clock? I like Clockwork quite a bit right now, but okay, yeah, it's just going to go be for a bat rider. So it is going to be the. I don't well, know. you think Zai will play the bat and Yap so will play the tiny? Yeah. Or? This is a bat rider versus Tim. This looks like a horrible Timber Saw game now. Yeah. It's only good versus Alchemist. It's terrible versus the other four. They're all. That's they're, not good. They're all magic damage for that, this Timber Saw. That's, that's not good news for Keen. They got one final pick to sort of wrap it all together and encounter it all. Ten now this bat rider, you just laying the bat versus the Timber Saw. That is, it's not a fun matchup at all for Timber. I mean, if, I, I imagine what they're going to pick a safe lane hero that can farm against the bat and try and make sure that they get that matchup. There's uh, obviously a fair few of them in the pool. Life Jugs, Stealer. Life Stealers, Jug PLs. Life Stealer, PL. You'd, PL ima does not you'd look imagine good. they're going to go for one of those three. Yeah, PL does not look good because you're versus Ember Spirit. I think, I think this might be one of those games we just take the Life Stealer, right? Yeah, I think. I think Life Stealer is better than the Jug in this game. But. Then they have no t they have no way to kill towers either. You got the serpent wars. Oh, sorry. Yeah, you're right. Actually, sorry. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Well, then life still could be appealing. <sighs> I guess it's the yeah, it's maybe the best one that fits. Do they play Meepo? If they play Meepo, it'd be quite a good Meepo game. But I don't know if these guys play Meepo. You like playing Meepo versus Bat? Yeah, you just kill it. It's just an, it's just a little annoying. That's all. Yeah. But just the, yeah, the life. Yeah, I mean, the life still was. It seemed like the obvious one. It's. It's not necessarily a pick that's like, damn, they've got it, they've wrapped, but it, it, it's like, it was the best pick, really, yep. in, the, in that situation. But uh, not to say a secret, I'm going to be too worried about that lifestealer pick. So now it's mid concon it's offlane timber saw with, what, like a tri lane? And... Hmm. So you're saying you really have to make sure that this timber doesn't end up landing against the, just, the bat rider. Maybe you just You've put got bat rider top. <laughs> maybe you just put bat rider safe lane. I mean, but then sure, surely Keen are going to try and dodge it. I they, think we're, yeah, we're going to see it. some lane dodging coming yeah. out here. This doesn't look like a good timber saw game though. Life Stealer looks okay, but not, not really that great either. This is, this is looking a bit tough here for Keen already, but it's just because I see Oracle and I see Alchemist winning like majority of these games. And I, that's the protection. thing. It's just the opening from Seeker is so strong. But Keen... May struggle to deal with it. Maybe, you know, maybe if they can get these uh, you know, ideal lane matchups, maybe get the, get the timber against the out lane, get the life stealer against the bat lane. Maybe they can make it work with the trees. Maybe with the trees, with the whirling death, enough pure damage to just chunk down the elk. Perhaps, maybe. This is one of the old solutions, right? People have been trying to find because, like we said, timber saw and bloodseeker were like the big two at last year's TI when Alchemist was getting picked. Now teams are looking for other solutions to deal with this hero. I was in the mid lane. Mid one versus Dara versus Yee's Kunker. Should be what? How, how does that sort of matchup go? I've seen it. Mid one will be able to farm, I'm sure. Should and be pretty even, it's, right? It's like the yeah. Kunker sunlight should be forced out. Of the you both kind of pressure each other because you're constantly spamming on each other and you can't actually break the flame guard very nicely. So you're just going to get the lane pushed into you a bunch of times too, but you're also going to cleave back with your thing. So. so we're old 11 there having some hefty stats on his timber. It's got about. It looked, it looked to be but like a 75% win rate, man. Okay. Five wins in a row on the Timber. I mean, it's really going to be super reliant on... I, every time I watch Keen, it's really like... Old, if Old Eleven and Kaka are not having good games, they're, they're, they're a really big really big problems. So, big eyes on Old Eleven. Of course, in this game, when he's Dio, you know, he's this Timber saw versus Alk. It looks like they're just doing standard lanes for the time being. As the Alchemist is walking toward bottom with Yapsor and Tiny, who has boots, also picked up, and Toss instantly skilled up, so... Smoke. Yapsor already finds it immediately. He walks in. Expects that one to kind of come out. He pinged it before they even... Uh, he was like, protect this side. They're going to try to smoke something, it looked like. He knew, because he was pinging it immediately. So Keen they won't be able to find an opportunity there to get it to kill, but they do get two wards down. So I think this deep ward is to watch not only the lane swap, but also when people do just back up and start stacking and just keep tabs if there are. Really trying to get themselves a kill here. It's mid one. Gives him a poke. I'm just trying to... <laughs> he's just taunting him. Make sure that none of the secret can get him for these... It's banner is down bottom. They're bringing five. Yeah. Keen's bringing five heroes down bottom. Secret will poke. Toss back as well. Slide of fist spam. 
Keen Gaming will be able to make sure that the, the bounty rune split is, is even. Just some harass coming out. That's all that Seeker was trying to accomplish. They can't actually set up to go for that one there with all those heroes they there. Might have now, a chance of Dark. Dark. They're going to have to toss back. Uh-oh, Dark's looking pretty dead here. And now they're going to give it to Nisha. going to get it as well? No, Dark's like, nope, yeah. you're not getting it. But the toss back's coming into play. And they are running that aggro tri lane. So let's see, are they going to be able to make it work with this timber saw? They have to watch out for the tossback plays. That's all Yapster's going to be looking for. You see where they're positioned right here. So Kaka, he knows. Kaka's playing all the way on that right side, away from the left, not to get tossed into towers. But Yapster, now he's switching around. He knows. He wants the Shadow Shaman. Uh oh. There's the root. It's going to set up in position for the toss. And there, there it is. is. Back and underneath the tower. That'll be a second kill for Secret. It's a deadly combo. I've seen him do this. I've seen them run these type of tri lanes before with Yapsor playing the tiny. It's always the tossbacks to protect. You can't even contest like pulls if they start doing those either because you're going to get tossed back in 11. He's got his six reactive stacks. Yeah, and Yapsor, he is still going to go for the tossback, but you know, this is going to be a kill. Or maybe it will be a kill. Back in the mid lane. Sorry, we missed that at the same time that players we made. Both mids ended up dying to one another. But mid one gets the experience. He did. He's able to dive forward for it. And he comes back into the lane, and he even buys a chainmail. So that's a little bit interesting here for mid one, just to take less harassment coming out from yeah, the It's lanes. super nice against like the Tidebringer to have a chainmail, though. Yeah. As bottom, another toss back. The Shadow Shaman Kaka steps up. Still level one on all these heroes bottom at almost a two minute mark. For the blocking him off. And those right clicks hurt for the Tiny. Yep. There's another kill for that safe lane. And Yapsor gets himself the kill too, which is really important as these support tinies to get a couple of the kills early on so you can get your bottle. So you can keep making those moves around, look for those uh, look for those ruins, fill up your bottle, keep spamming out the lane. So a lot of tension, of course, on that bottom lane because, like we said, it's really important for this Timbersaw to have a good time. And right now, he's not really able to put the pressure on the Alchemist so far. Top, we see Zai. He's getting, not getting a whole lot up here. A lot of denies coming out for the Lifestealer. Yeah. But, but he's, he's having, yeah, he's having to do it on his own. Yeah, and he's going to be able to always do this. You're playing versus AA. AA cannot stop off laners. No. They're always going to be able to pull waves. But as you say, you know, the bat is not going to be able to stop the life stealer. This is going to be free farm for chicken. Yep. But Zai's going to, yeah, he's going to double stack creep waves, and he's going to get a decent amount. As mid, we see the little bit of a battle going on. Kaka also moving in. Yep, sort of keeping tabs. Yeah, this bottom lane because of those kills. You know, the Timbersaw pick certainly not looking to have any sort of impact on the arc start of the game. Yeah, it's not slowing him down. With the way that Secret have been able to set up the lanes. Mid one in the mid lane. Kaka trying to get close enough. He doesn't actually have a grab. He only has the uh, shock. And Yapsor only has one spell right now. And he's got the avalanche. If he gets the avalanche into the toss back. He can get the toss back. He only has one of them. All right, and the toss back itself, will it be enough? Takes a few tower hits, but mid one doesn't quite have the, the mana for, for both the spells to go for a kill attempt. He's just following around Kaka, though. And now he's going toward top with the Tiny, too, so he's going to have the gold for the bottle now. So he's going to maybe even just sell the Tango and pick it up. Could be a possibility. Or does he just wait? He's just going to wait. Pa he's, he's patient. a patient gamer. I'm impatient. I would have sold my Tango. <laughs> So now he's going to have plays that he can move, and it's going to be timing with that four-minute rune that he can sit on top. Mid one gets forced back to base, though, which is pretty damn nice from Yi after getting killed in the mid lane first. Oh, you're getting a nice little match here in the mid CS. Ooh, a haste rune on Yep, sorry. Let's see where he looks to make a play. Zai is just kind of running around now. Let's see, they sent Kaka toward top, so now he's a little bit more afraid of actually being there. But maybe he can set up for a kill bottom. Old 11 is pretty deep. He TP down here, too. His TP is on cooldown. See if they've got the damage to do it. Acid spray. Lay palm stacking up. He's going to try and jump away. And does have another timber chain up in a second, as well as a full stick. It's a lot of stacks of Napalm. The nuke damage still bringing him low, but there's the backup. Kaka's in with the shackles. Yep. Old 11 will be kept safe. Secret can't get the kill. No, old 11 survives. Yeah, he had two stacks of the Purifying Flames healing him as well, too, when they were going for that kill. So, hope he wasn't actually able to get that Dispel off in time. I see mid as quick as mid one came back to lane. Uh, he's got the bottle. I was going to say, he got nuked down very, very low there. Yeah, the Kunk was really starting to pull ahead here as the levels build up. But now, we have those bounties coming out. Who's going to be able to get them? Nisha's even running in. Yep, sword two. So, it looks like three for secret. Yeah, three for secret. 
A bit of a fight around the rear spot though. They've got the disable on mid one. Shackles to set up into the turret. Mid one's low. He's dead. He is dead indeed. They have the physical to punch through him. Doesn't matter about the flame guard. Nisha getting a kill here. And Yapsor, he's hasted. He's looking for Yi. And they will get Yi by the looks of it. Avalanche toss up. Purifying flames. And it's healing him. It's healing him. And he's got the salve. Did help him as well between some of the right clicks. He hit the shrine. Also buffing him back up. They'll toss him over. They're trying their best to punch him down. He's got two stick charges. He's got the combo as well onto Yaps. So backups now in from Kaka. He, he's he still on the test. The, the creeps, bring a hit. They can't kill him. He's too too tough with that double braces. He can walk off. Now even turn around. They didn't just get Yaps. Or they may even just get both of them. This puppy. He's running. He Kaka with those right clicks. He needed it's one more. Won't quite be able to get it. Puppy will be able to get away, but Yi surviving. So nice, too. And Yaps are probably regretting that he just goes for the combo instead of tossing him back to his Oracle. Because Puppy was low mana, so he only had one Purifying Flame. Then Yaps starts bottling him. But by that point, the Purifying Flame healed the Kanka enough for him to get to the Shrine. I think if he tossed him back, he wouldn't have made it all the way back to that Shrine in time. In this, the initial. All the space in the world continues to be there for Old Chicken, who yeah. has the six-minute Midas done and active. All right. Very nice. Bye, Yi. Double bracers. Can't underestimate how tanky Kunkas get. And now they've actually had to move Nisha away from the timber sauce. He's gotten level 6, so you don't want to lane versus that timber as an alchemist when he gets that. And Nisha's just jungling. Mid one having a... Trying to find, trying to, he's going to have to find a way to recover a little bit here. After those two deaths. And Zai too. Right, Zai tried to make that move bottom. He's 0, 1, and 0 and only level 4 compared to uh, old 11 who's 6. Like we were saying, almost 7. Yeah, old 11, yes, sir. Free pressure onto this bottom tier one tower. It's between Puppy and Zai, they they can't really kill him. No. I need three heroes ready to deal with the Tempasaur at this point. Uh, Zai is going to try and make a go for it. They have got the third hero coming in. Yep, so be turning up. It's still not necessarily easy there with the magical burst. They do. Yeah, Yap so now is the missing piece of the puzzle required to take down 11. Yeah, it's still always Bat Rider is Bat Rider is terrifying versus the Timber Saw at most of the stages of the game. So back in mid ye just soaking up the farm. Phase into Shadow Blade going to be the build this game for the Kunker. With that Shadow Blade he'll have that potential to really get active, have that catch from the shadows as he looks to set up onto these heroes such as the Ember Spirit. Yeah. With the X mark. Yeah, it looks just be that ganker put the pressure on. Nisha will just continue to jungle here. Are they gonna be able to get they don't think they're gonna be able to really get any deep wards or look to actually pressure into the into that side as secrets just keeping themselves parked in lanes and pushing them out constantly. Zai. He's got the mango in the fire flat. Yeah. If he needs to, so not really under too much pressure, but it was just the fact that old chicken, very farmed, getting so much. He's opting for the Midas armlet this game. Yep, just going for a straight right click build versus an alchemist. You go for that Deso armlet, just much better. As yep, he should slowly farming up. Made one two. Since the trees, Zai, cook with the lasso onto Dark. Gonna try and follow up with the damage from Yapsaw. Zai stays upon Dark. Sticky Napalm stacks building up. We'll get the kill. They'll lose Yapsaw for it. Kaka Zai. Might die too. Can he get himself more? The chase onto Kaka with that Napalm. He'll get it. It's two down. Old 11 as well. It's trying to turn and fight back, but mid one is here. Old 11 still too tanky to strike upon. No Firefly available yet. They're just keeping the sticky stacks up though. So I actually stops going for it there. Now Yi has come over too. Yeah, just looking at each other farming. Does have that combo ready to pop. Zai would be the, the squishier of heroes to kill. In fact, managing to land the torrent. Now he's got the axe, he's in got the, the trees. Uh oh, Zai. Set up for the angle for that tie, bring a hit, and Yi. Perfect catch there. Torrent in the trees to set up. Very nicely done so far by the Konka in this game. Moving around a lot, putting the pressure on. Chicken. He's keeping them. He's a thousand gold behind the net worth of the Alchemist, even more so than that. And now bounty runes are coming out. They're trying to make sure they can get themselves a couple here. Old Chicken really trying to get this one here. 
we'll have to rage and TP out. So we'll be a two for two, which of course benefits Secret with that Alchemist. All right, it's gonna push him very close to the Relic Nisha. Yep, 12, 13 minute timing pretty much every game that we've seen. If you were to get slowed down at least a little bit. Dark, so looking to try to get invasive here, get those wards down so that they can look to go for setup for Nisha. Sai is in the area. This looks like it might be a little bit of a bait here as they're stepping up pretty far and the TPs are coming through now too. Uh-oh, Keen. It, it's gonna drag back Sai, goes for the boat, does catch Nisha and covers himself in the run. Got that extra damage resistance for now, but Seeker, they are gonna have a lot of damage to throw out. Pretty much got the full five man surrounding him. Still able to walk away, but finally Zai locks him down with the lasso. He will be punished. And they're, they just... Kaka just threw the Serpent Wards there in mid lane too. They just all are there for Seeker. They just cleaned that one up. He barely did any damage to the tower. A little bit overzealous there by Kaka trying to go for that ward. As yeah, Nisha now with the Relic done. How's our old chicken armlet going? Almost online. Yeah, we'll see how much he can do. Because it, as it has been so far, Secret, they haven't really shown any intention of of being worried about the lifesteal. They haven't nope. put any pressure onto him. Obviously, it's hard to do so with their heroes. The lifesteal is very good this game. We'll yeah. see how much that, that sort of turns around to bite them back. Now uh, we'll be taken. They're focusing more on the Kunkka as well as the Timber. So the heroes that match up really well versus the Alchemist. Lifesteal does too if he gets really farmed. But and they... So I'm trying to attempt for the kill onto the Ember Spirit, but TP's came in. Puppy, Yapsaw, signing up for the fight. Yapsaw will be able to walk out of the boat, the boat combo from Dash, from Yeet. Old 11, committing forward and catching Zai off guard. A very Old 11 type of move, just being very aggressive even on low HP. Able to get that bat. And keep putting pressure on this tier 2 bottom. This is actually really nice here by Old 11. Keeping that catapult alive. Keeping those stacks up for himself as well. He's getting pinged out now, though. It looks like Secret, they do want to set up for him, but they are they see this. He's going to start backing away, but uh-oh. He misses the chain. I'll hit that one, but... Gets tossed. Yeah, toss it there to interrupt it. He's making him work for it pretty hard here with all this regen. But now he's out of mana, and he gets lassoed up. Oh. Oh. Make him work it for it even oh. more. He got some mana there. He's got another chain. Oh, there we go. Damn. They'll finally get him. Takes a lot of time and effort, but it is a dead offline Timbersaw. And the Radiance is now done for Nisha. About a minute faster than we saw at the last series that we saw the Alchemist that was played. And he's also taking the attack speed talent over the Inco Unstable Concoction. So we've been seeing that actually also being picked up a couple times. Chicken. Arm that complete. Just needs to get it sent out to him with that Gloves of Haste. He needs to pick up mid lane. Mid one. They drop down immediately the wars. There is going to be the save offered up by the Oracle. He just had to Fates Edict him. He didn't have to ult him. Yeah, Fates Edict's enough. And he can turn kill Kaka. And again, this is another set of wards dropped down. That doesn't accomplish anything. Yeah. 11 commits forward for Nisha. Nisha just holds his ground. But there we saw the, the reason why Oracle is not only just good versus AA, but also incredibly good versus the Kunkka. You just click, you don't even have to click ult. You just click Fates Edict and it blocks all of that magic damage. Now holding on to uh, now just a 1k lead secret. See how much that starts to grow. Obviously with the Alchemist, it can get a lot messier. Yeah. Let's see if Keen can shut it down. They hmm. got the armlet done and, and she's saying, oh, she can go in for that armlet Deso to help them tackle yeah. the Alk early on. Yep. Looks like uh, mid one's going for mo magic build. Goes for the uh, Veil, since he has the Bat Rider, as well as the Oracle plus the Tiny, all magic damage. Can actually work very well versus that Timber Saw, as we've been saying. Yeah. So 11 to 7, Keen. They've been trying really hard to keep these aggressive wards down. They put act they actually had four wards, two in the top side, two in the bottom side, in the last few moments, just trying to keep that aggression up. But Secret have done a good job of just protecting their side. Especially that mid tower in particular. They lost their bottom one and their top one, but that mid one. Ah, mid one, haha. Mid, mid tower is extremely crucial for them. And even with those serpent ones, they haven't quite been able to take it yeah, away. Yeah, they really haven't. Both of them. Like the first one was like, right next to everybody, the second one was also right in the middle of everybody. But they were trying to set up for a kill with the second one, so. Ooh, the Midas, it's up. They're hunting, though. They're trying to find. There we go. What are they going to get here? Is it going to be Zai? 
Started to back away. Zeiss, 50 gold from Blink Dagger. Oh, no, he... Oh. Oh, he's so close. And he only lost 90 gold for that death, at least. Though he didn't lose it into 200 or anything. He didn't lose some big, big chunk of money. And maybe it will surprise them more. You know, if he gets the blink quickly after he <laughs> respawns, they're going to be like, we killed him. We slowed down his blink. But as you say, it's not a massive slowdown. But uh, nonetheless, a, a good kill for Keen Gaming. They'll open up the chance to take another tower away from Secret. Yeah. Getting old chicken involved in the action. Nisha. Looking for those bounties. 11. Uh, not able to get it. Can start to try and play around Nisha, but Nisha having a lot of backup. Mid bonds here as well. Veiled down onto 11. Pops the hood though, and Timber changed to safety. Space is there for the tier 1 push as well. Keen Gaming. Continuing to sweep up and down the map and take these towers now. This time they'll be able to get it. They're looking to set up for the top kill, it looks like secret. They also probably want to look to try to get this tower here. It's 11. He's pretty isolated. The TPs are going to start coming out. Very, he's tanky though. They're using the lasso. Ice Blast, it's going to come in, hit on pretty much four, yeah, four members of Secret it connects with. As they can look to just tear apart Yapsor, Yapsor, false promise by Puppy. He's got bottle charges, he's going to, he should be just fine with the heals. And they're going to combo, they're looking for the life stealer. They're going to try and turn a little bit, but finally, Dash, uh, Yi has turned up, gets the poke combo out, and that's going to be Nisha dead. Now Old Chicken, he can look towards mid one as well, mid one. He's got to run, he's got to hide. Kaka's got the grab with the shackles. Spells from Puppy have already been used. So there isn't the save required for Mipwop. Keen Gaming get both of the big cores. And sure, old Levin goes down, but certainly a worthy fight for Keen. His old chicken really racks up the gold after that. And he's pushed very close to having the Dessa. Wow. Yeah, that is scary. That is a very scary timing when he gets it. They're going to have to have items to buff up their Alchemist with armor because he's only got 11 with those phase boots. So, okay, they've got a medallion queued up on Yapsor, and he's going to buy it. Okay, yeah, they need to get some armor items to solve how how hard the Lifesteer is going to start hitting versus that Alchemist soon. So they are already addressing that. But yeah, very nice fight for Keen. That's Nisha. Showing his face in mid, he's about to have BKB too, so he's also making sure he can protect himself versus that high damage that comes out from the Timber Saw. They find another grab. Yep, so. He's tanky. And he's there the up, rage. Though. So they can finally finish him off. Shakram's out, won't be enough to kill him. Backup's there from Puppy, and now they turn with the toss on to Yi. He gets the boat out, covering themselves in the room, keeping themselves safe, and in fact gets the connection onto Zai as well with the X mark. Drag back, Zai's dead. 11 now with a completed pipe. That's Keen Gaming. They'll take the tier two in the mid lane. The push continues, 11. Playing beautifully aggressive, just heading up to the high ground. He's actually just absorbing everything now with this pipe too. They're certainly tapping up the speed, Keen, and they have the gold advantage against the out lineup. If they can keep this up, they'll be at a good pace to challenge the high ground. Desolator done in just under under 100 gold for Old Chicken. Very scary. Some big timings coming out for Keen when they keep this aggression up. Mid one shows his face in mid. Immediately they're going to go on him. They've got the hex. They've there's, got the grab. There's no backup anywhere near him. Oh, he's going to. Is he going to tick out? Tick. Where's the Oracle? Anyone? They need Oracle's to got yeah, him. Yeah, that will block some of the magical oh. damage instances. He was about to, he he, was about to pop. He I, think was, the next I think he was one tick away. I think he was one tick away. He, he, he was. I did the numbers. <laughs> very, very close to, to finding a, a huge kill. Not quite having enough chain disable, surprisingly. Yeah. Between the, the Shaman and the Kunker, it wasn't there. They used everything, right? And that's with the level three of the Hex. It's only level one Shackles, though. Yeah, they threw everything on him. Give some time for Secret, some breathing room. As Keen's been playing super aggressive here in this game. And that that's all, like you said, it's done. Level 15 as well on the Life Stealer, some more extra damage on top. I was looking at uh, so Yi's build this game, the BKB, and then queuing up the Halberd. Is, mm. well, why, do, why do you think it feels the Halberd is necessary this game. I mean, Halberd just is super good on Kunkka. It's so much Sure. Fun. It's strength, it's, it's evasion. Yeah. It's uh, you think it's more for that yeah. rather than necessary disarming a certain one of these heroes? I'd imagine so. Like, there's no, there's not, it's like uh. there's like, amazing targets to disarm. They're okay, but they're not like super. As we see, Keen Gaming, they are smoked up. Old Chicken does have his Midas up again during the smoke. 
as the oh. uh, Dire Courier. What? Wait, the Dire Courier was... Okay, it was going to old 11. I was like, it was just flying to nobody. But it was actually just going to that Timber Saw. The Wraparound is coming. The Bounty Runes. See if they're able to make sure the Secret don't get a hold on these. In position for the top two. Bottom two are left undefended at the moment. Now the TP's come out. As Keen will try and challenge for all four runes by the looks of it this time around. Sai is set up for the top ones though. And he's got wards too. He might actually just look to kill Dark. But now TP's are coming in. Yi. See down bottom. Expecting something. Fight's already started. Look at the Hex. The Shackles on to Nisha. Rage out as well. Can they kill off Nisha? They're trying but they won't quite get him. Nisha will live. They'll lose Kaka. Mid one's able to walk past, take the bounty runes. Old Chicken's trying to chase him. Up top, they did kill off Sai. Yeah, he was able to actually find him there with the boat combo. And that was what? Two for two, right? Uh, mid one, mid one. Yeah. Old 11, old 11. Two for two on the runes. So, Secret happy with that. As Nisha is getting close to an AC, that's also another very big item. As we mentioned, he needs to have yeah. some type of. Way to protect stuff. Also taking the damage. Yeah, so we've seen, seen that the, now multiple Yeah, times. we saw what Ace, okay. Ace did earlier. Yeah. And yeah, focusing on the punching, the right clicking. Yeah. So that's where the Halberd is actually going to play really nicely into. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. So if, if Nisha's going this sort of a build, yeah, yeah. the Halberd definitely is. It's, it's going to be a very nice pickup for, for Yeet. Yeah, he's the tower hitter uh, as Nisha. He's going to be the one just like taking objectives and killing stuff. Since mid one went for this like full magic build, Veil, I mean, Veil as well as the Maelstrom. Yeah, they're still keeping it. They're keeping keeping it them very it, it, close. And it's another one of those out situations where a lot of it's all on the out because there's three cores on Keen that the net worth is much more evenly split between. Yep. Zai has Zai's a rough one. falling heavily behind this game. Mid one still he's still pretty much keeping up with the other three cores, but it's nothing to write home about. So it's timing. mainly the out that's the big fighting force, which, which uh, of course, it doesn't really matter too much. We've seen this happen in a lot of out games, and the yeah, Alk, of course, has been victorious. Mm -hmm. They've got a timing here for a secret. Since that AC was just picked up for Nisha, they're looking to try to take a fight around. He's very strong now. Look at his damage. 250 per hit, and they get the lasso. They get a the big, chicken. big grab as well. Oh, Old no. chicken on the front lines. They have the full retreat. They can't lose too many more casualties here. They're probably going to lose at least one, but nice timber chain play. Do they get the catch? They did not have a Fortune's End available, so they only lose a lifesteal at least, but it is a painful loss yeah. there. 50 it's, seconds. It puts a stop to any sort of play that Keen were looking for. Yeah, and look at this. Mid one's already set up for top, expecting someone to look to push out this lane. Kaka will be the target, will be the culprit. Drops the Serpent Wards, but Yapsor is here. So to cancel it. They do have the X. Won't quite be able to drag him back into the Ice Blast. We'll get him into the boat. Mid one's got Puppy by his side. Yeah, they even just buff him up, throw a little casual slight chains. As Nisha finds an arcane rune. He can look to beat on this mid tower, his chemical rage in one second. Be a little careful. That's that reduction. Back to Secret having the gold lead now. Yep. Mid one. BKB next up against all these disables, certainly warranted. At the end of the day, Puppy can only save so much. Yeah, and it's just it's always going to be a good item when you're playing versus like Timber Saw and AA, even versus Shaman and Kunkka. There's it's it's a great item here on the Alchemist this game. Don't get your, st your stat reduced. Don't have to put Puppy in like the super hard game where he always has to be in a perfect position. Puppy though, level 12, so he at least has that extra cast range as well. False pro for the false promise, always carrying around a salve plus his urn. So that extra healing will always come into play. Maxed out Fate's Edict as well. Also very important when you're playing versus AA. Gives you that little bit of extra timing for you to kick the heal in after the Ice Blast goes off. And the extra cast range is lovely. Oh, smoke Another time. Smoke. They've got, what, the Blink Dagger, I believe, for Anisha? Oh, he actually buys the Bastion instead. Okay. So he's just all out about that right click. That's old 11. It's far up. The Lotus Orb right before the jump. He did get it off. Concoction also getting reflected. As now time's been bought for Yi to come in, get the X Mark combo down onto Zai. They'll cut across as well, looking for more behind him. As Zai will get frozen up by the cold feet. That's one down on secret. Keen Gaming ready to try and chase for more. They'll look towards mid one, change her out, but there's the hex. From Kaka, they have the disable. Oh, Shackles the out as well, two down. What a boss. Very quick there. We had it pretty much the same time go off. 
He getting getting that Losus orb onto himself as the lasso was dropped down. I was gonna say he's in a really dangerous position too. He, he was stepping. He, there. he, he didn't have, have vision it. right. Nope. This was a no blind vision. jump. And he was ready. Yeah, because they placed this one afterwards now. The one that they just cut the tree over here and put this deep ward down right below where you're... Yeah, right there. They put down afterwards. So, yep, that was just sick, my old 11. And he just pretty much... I mean, that was him dying. It really made for the sure. fight. And now it made they get the a rush. rush because of it. That's massive. Massive plays with this Roche. Aegis and pretty much the money for Old Chicken to feel very close to having the AC complete. Yep. And they're able to get themselves... Three bounties by the looks of it, too. Big players here from Keen. They're looking to try to hunt here on Secret. Checking to see if those runes were taken as well. Damn, that was, that was so sick. <laughs> yeah, fully defensive old 11 BKB next as well for him. Like it. Cover all his bases, right? He's already got the protection against the majority of the spells. Now this is going to be the full protection to make sure he doesn't get even get locked down at all. And he can stick on targets much easier. As yeah, that AC just around the corner, and they're even giving him. Looks like did he think they did he buy the tome or did he, he bought the time? He bought the tome. He bought right? the time. I guess yeah. what, the race to the level twenty evasion. Just trying to get that level. Just try to peak fast. In comparison to the Alchemist, peak fast, faster and faster in any possible way. That's nice bottom. Good one. Getting pressured here. A little bit by old 11. He wants to keep pushing forward. He wants to go for like the next waves and stuff and try to get any, maybe even the rune. Keeping himself a defensive remnant down, just pushing himself as far forward from the base as possible. Yeah, I mean, the rest of them are stepping over in this direction. Good one has to be a little careful how he shows his face. Yeah, Kaka just waiting to see something here. The glimmer with the Aether Lens. Easy way just to catch in there. Mid one is looking for the next wave. Now we have it. Oh, he's actually hiding still. And he has the AC finished already on Life Sealer. Okay, they've got Aegis, they've got this, they've got Serpent Wards ready. They're looking to push bottom. This is a timing. Yeah, this is the time to go. We'll see what sort of a defense secret can put together. Keen. Got all the means to su successfully and safety get in there. They can play with the X mark. Going for the free hits. Full Abyssal Blade on Nisha. He's committed. He has no buyback on the Alchemist. That's a, that's a risk. Abyssal Blade down onto the old chicken. But again, this, this constant X mark usage allowing for just damage to get laid down. They now drop the Serpent ones. He's just out the chemical rage. He'll start to clean them up pretty quickly. A hex is upon him. Oh, Chicken again steps forward. Pops the range. Tries to go for Nisha, but the bash is disabling the live stealer. And old oh, Chicken is getting rather low still. Has that Aegis. Zai looking to try to catch him. He's hexed up, though. So they can get him back in the combo. Boat. Torrents down. Zai gets dragged back. The hex is there. He is able to force himself out of the initial jump. And they get the avalanche as well, too. But another X. Dragging him in. Again, Fate Cedic taking some of the magical off. Shackles are down, and Old Chicken has the physical to rip Zai apart. Ice Blast will come out onto Nisha, but Nisha pots the BKB. So he's fine, able to walk out back to safety. They did manage to get the Shaman. There's the toss back. They've caught themselves a second secret as Old Eleven will get caught back in the base. That was scary there. I was wondering where Old Chicken went. I was like, oh yeah, he had to actually infest. It was looking pretty terrifying for him there. They were able to get the disengage pretty nice. Zai was looking in a lot of trouble there. He actually gets the four staff off somomehow yeah. before the shot happened. Hex was out. Yeah. Old Chicken. We'll have to just rage TP out. But a pretty good hold there by Secret. They lose 1,400 HP on their tower. They actually didn't find the ward that's been placed inside of their base either. They hold for the time being. As it looks like Yapsor also now is going to have a full solar crest finished up. So that's these items really start to add up. You throw him on top of this very strong alchemist. And in that fight too, the Kaka, Kaka got instantly gone on, right? Mid one just pierced to the back lines. That's always one thing he has to watch out for as the Shadow Shaman. The Samur Spirit can always just get right on top of you. And with the BKB now finished for mid one, he's got a lot more liberty to play with inside the fights. Double Glimmer Capes though on Keen, so 
Secret does have to be carrying a, a decent amount of reveal on themselves. So yeah, Yapsor also has the two sentries. Okay, so it's not just Puppy who has to watch out for that. I think Zai maybe. Maybe they should give one of them to Zai too. Yeah, because he's normally the one jumping yeah. in looking for the, the last season. Can be a bit awkward if he jumps in, and, but Glimmer's already off, and there's yeah. nothing for him to grab. Yeah. Got Aegis being reclaimed in about five seconds. So they got a decent amount done with that. They got to do a good chunk of damage on down bottom. And it will be that cleave talent. As we've been seeing grab more and more. Uh, wants to fight, wants to punch, Nisha. Yep. After the blink, Aghanim's ready to start being built out for the team. And first and foremost, probably, Amber. it's got to be, right? You've yeah. got you to give it to the Ember. Oh, yeah. Let's get him. Got some nice ones on the tiny in the back, but yeah, for sure, for mid one, it's going to make his game very nice to play. I actually think I like the tinies the least in this game. Because Oracle. Least in the Oracles? Oracle can heal so much during one Fate's Edict on an Alchemist. True. But is it not sort of overkill? Like, can you not just heal the Alk enough anyways? You really need the. Probably. Yeah, I mean, fine. Fine. You know what? You got to give it. I mean, is it, Yap's obviously not got any items that. He doesn't have the items that work with it. Yeah, that's exactly. Why. Nothing really. Yeah, yeah I guess you, you're probably true. It's I mean, that's true. way later yeah. down the line. So that's, yeah. True. Ember Spirits, I'd imagine. Ember Spirits, got to be, yeah. it's got to be first in line. Yeah, 100%. And then Zai's. And, Zai. and then, yeah. Keen. All sticking together with this smoke. See Yi also building his own uh, right click as well. Right, going for the Daedalus. And then well, queuing up an AC, which I imagine that he won't get. His old chicken's got one, right? Yeah, I'd imagine he does. Like he's. It would be a little strange if uh, if they do double up on the ACs. Yeah. Secret. They're smoking. They're going to jump. Catch. They're going to try and jump in straight away on to a tanky one. Nisha's in as well. Looking for the back lines. He'll go for Kaka. But the Lotus Assault was placed on Kaka, so the stun gets reflected on Nisha. Not that it matters, because Nisha still gets the chance to put the BKB. Old Chicken, he's trying to right-click down Nisha. They're surrounding him and chasing him out. Nisha's BKB is about to wear off. Open wounds are there from Old Chicken. They're on top of them. Drag back with the X mark. Finally, the False Promise is there from Puppy. Keeping Nisha fine. Allows him to blink out to the side. Throws out the good with the Lotus Assault. Again, Old Eleven reflecting the stun. They're in on to Nisha. Nisha full, fully healed though after the false promise ends. Old Chicken's still trying to tackle him. They drag him back with the X-Mark but they still Mid can't quite kill him cleaning up. as they hold back Old Chicken. Nisha jumps back with the concoction. Secret will come out on top. As try as they might Keen, they could not kill Nisha. Fighting around that shrine there, that extra heals coming out. Zai and Mid One just did so much work in the back lines. Nisha tanking everything and that just allowed Mid One to do, let's see, 5,000 damage, or 4,200, whatever. I think he did a little bit more before the fight actually started on with one of the first slides that didn't get counted, but and yeah, the just tanked so much. A disastrous fight for Keen. They really did put everything into trying to kill that out. They weren't able to do so. And it's every little thing too, right? Like I saw Yapsor even solar cresting him every single time when he's yeah. getting focused. He got fate seated multiple times to absorb those magics, magic damage, and now they move up on, and they can easily get this Rax, and that's a huge swing. It was like zero, right? Pretty much flatlined, and now it's a 12k advantage for Secret after that. And a set of Rax as well in the middle lane. A Secret. And that was also before he gave the Aghanims to mid one. I don't, I believe he had the three pieces before the fight started, but he wasn't able to actually give nah, the Aghanims yeah, to the apart. Fight. Yeah. yeah. So now even stronger here for Secret. And it puts, puts mid one healthily ahead in the net worth, thanks to that Axe. Yep. He's up there, 21k. Nisha still leading the way, of course, as this Alchemist, 27,000 net worth. And this is the problem when you play against an Alk lineup. Doesn't really matter how well you hold in the early game. One bad fight, and suddenly you're pushed far, far behind. Yeah, pushed super far behind, you lose all your mammoth stronger. As Yapster is starting to queue up the Echo Sabres and stuff like that. So he's preparing for his He's, he's saying, look at me. Look, I'm ready for an Axe. Yeah. I'm ready for an Axe. The Roche, they're not able to make it in time. The Aegis and the Cheese, they've got the eggs on the Timber Sauce. Yeah, to go for the eggs over the BKB. Yeah, more damage coming into play. Probably feeling like they just don't have the damage to kill people now. As yeah, Secret, they want to fight. They are. They're going in on Yapsor. Hex is out. Wars dropped as well. 
Yeah, Absol's able to force himself out of the whole entire combo. They'll go back into the river, looking for Puppy and Mipwon, but Mipwon pots the BKB. He's ready to chase down the Squishy. Stirs the Remnants, jumping out onto Kaka. Kaka's dead. Dragback will be there, but they've lost both the supports. Puppy's still alive as he's just taken away the whole attention of Keen's cause. He'll false promise himself. But buybacks have come out from both supports. They jump in on the back lines. They've got old chicken. Puppy, he will die, but he's made so much space and created all the distraction that the rest of Secret can come in, clean up Yi. And old 11 is also not getting out of this one as Secret take another convincing team white, doubling their lead now, 20k gold advantage as Keen Gaming. They are heavily paying the price for that bad fight they took around Secret Shrine. And Puppy just buys back saying, hey guys, let's let's get another Rax. We're feeling very confident after these last few fights. There's no way that Keen can even bring down Nisha. They're just too strong. Mid one and Nisha just causing way too many problems. You saw you were even saying, right? Puppy took forever he to die. He took forever to die. And that was the three cores beating down on him. Yeah. Bottom, Bottom side. Even Bottom get the solo down. kill, pick off there. On to Kaka, no buyback on the Shaman. Oh, he gave Yapso the second axe. <laughs> as they're just gonna look to push in it. I mean, he here. knows this one is. Yeah. This one's in the bag for Secret, and as we sort of said in the draft, probably a reason why we would expect to see a first phase ban on the out next game. Yep. It, it really is that hero that it doesn't matter how well you played at the start because Keen, they did play very well with their lineup, but one mistake, one bad fight against an Alchemist, and the game very quickly can come to a full stop. As they'll try their best to defend, size in, grabs Old Chicken, Old Chicken's dead without buyback. Nisha pops the BKB. They'll try and push them off the Ancient, they will momentarily. Reflection of the concoction back over to Nisha, but Nisha focuses towards the objective as he's ready to seal this one up and move on to the second game here for Secret. As yep. There's nothing that Keen Gaming can really do to, to stop him right now. Chemical Rage is out. The Ancient will fall slowly. Slowly, but very surely, GG is cool. Secret will take game one. It's another win for Alchemist. Another and win. scary to see as well. This is how strong the hero is. You can just pick it first.